Hi, my name's Kevin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm just going to show the install of the DRO kit onto the milling machine. It's a Chinese kit, nothing wrong with it at all. It's as accurate as, fully programmable, and I'm really happy with it. The milling machine it's going to be going onto is a ZX45 clone. Um, there's various models out there, you know, of this mill, but they're all pretty much the same, just bar a few sort of small differences in that. I'm not going to show the install of the scales. There's loads of videos on the net showing those. I'm just going to show the end result and the way I've done mine. Well, we're out in the shed now, and here's the Miller machine. Like I say, it's a ZX45 clone. Um, this one is a Zay 7045FG. The mill is not that old. It's reason well, I say not that old. It's reasonably old, but they're still in excellent condition. Hasn't had a huge amount of use, and the ways are still very good and they're still very accurate. So what I'll do is I'll show you the Z-axis first and um, show you how I installed the scale onto there and then we'll have a look at the other axes. So here's the Z-axis. Um, this was probably the easiest way and the best way for accuracy of installing the scale. Um, did take a bit of working out, but I got there in the end. So I'm really happy with the end result. I'll show you a short video of just using the fine feed with the scale. So here we are, we've got the DRO all switched on and um, we'll just wind down the Z-axis and you can see it's going fine and we'll just wind it back up. And like I say, it works a treat, works flawlessly, very accurate. I've had the dial indicator on to make sure that the, um, you know, the scale was following the accuracy of the dial indicator. So we'll now move over to the X-axis this was uh, the easiest install of all three. Um, I couldn't decide whether to put it on the back or on the front, but if I put it on the back, I would have lost obviously too much uh, movement in the Y axis. So decided to put it on the front and um, it works again, it works flawlessly, no problems at all. So I'll just show you a short video of this also working um, and then we'll move on to the Y axis. I've removed the scale cover just so you can see it working. Uh, the video is a bit darker because the sun decided to go in as I was filming, <laughs> but never mind. And um, so here we are, just moving up and down. So that's no problem. And then we'll move over to the Y axis. This took a bit more working out. I couldn't decide where to attach the kit onto. And um, in the end, I just decided to come off the end of the table and I used the brackets which came with the DRO kit. Um, the main thing was just trying to keep it out of the way of coolant, you know, coolant splashes and that. Even though it's covered by a scale cover, I still wanted to keep it as way, you know, as possible from the bed and um, decided to put it onto the side of the machine. Uh, it didn't go too bad. I just had to cut some angle blocks for the scale to sit on so it made it parallel to the table. But it's working fine and um, it's like I said, I've had a dial indicator on it and it works accurate. All I've got to do on here now is just change the bolts over um, just to proper machine screws. But again, it's working flawlessly. All three axes are working excellently, you know, and I've done some machining and checked it with the vernier and it's all working fine. So I'm really happy, really happy with the DRO kit. Like I've said, this is a Chinese DRO kit and I've been really happy with it. Um, it's good quality and everything works fine, no problems, no issues. Um, people mock the Chinese, but you know, just if you're gonna buy something like this, just do your homework. Don't just read what they've said on the net and buy it. You know, ask them questions, get them to send any diagrams if you're not sure of anything. I mean, these people who I dealt with, um, I bought this off AliExpress, um, they couldn't help me more, you know. They were so helpful, explained everything to me, and um, you know, I was really happy with their service and I'll definitely use them again, obviously. So yeah, if you're gonna buy something like this, just do your homework. You know, th this was in my budget. I couldn't, you know, mid a toyu and makes like those are out of my budget and you know, I just couldn't afford those. So um, this is the, you know, the route I went and I'm really happy. So anyway, so if you like this video, just give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And we'll be doing some more videos in the near future. Thank you.